hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder today we're going to talk about how to build a web ui for the prompt paint stable diffusion if you have seen my previous tutorial you would know that we can do stable diffusion in paint just using text prompt you don't have to create the mask using brush we're going to build on the same tutorial and then we're going to create a web ui so i would strongly recommend you to first watch the previous tutorial which also i'll link in the youtube description then come to this tutorial where we're going to focus particularly on building a web ui using gradio so i want to show you first how the final output is going to look like the final output is going to look like this so you're going to have um, this web application where you can upload an image and then say something like what do you want to replace in this image and what do you want to replace with and then you're going to find the final image so let me show you i'm going to double click it and i'm going to you know get an image like for example i'm going to get this image once i get this image i have an option to select what do i want to change in this i can say shirt and i can say maybe um, orange color holiday shirt or um, orange color floral some so one, one of my subscribers actually told me that i should use floral so thanks to the subscriber who helped me correct um, once you do this thing now it's going to apply this in painting it's going to first identify whether um, where the shirt is create a mask then apply this new prompt and then you're going to get the final image and uh, you can see that we have we have got um, robert pattinson with uh, with a nice um, floral design so now this is the application that we're going to finally build so to quickly summarize the code i would start but i would still recommend you to watch the previous video but just to quickly summarize first we're going to install a bunch of applications next we are going to do hugging face authentication next we are going to download the model for clip seg that is going to help us in uh, creating a segmentation based on click just text prompt next we are going to download a model for hugging face uh, sorry download a model for stable diffusion from hugging face and uh, next is exactly where we are going to explore the code to convert um, download an image create create a, using clip seg we create a segmentation and using segmentation we create a mask and using that mask we finally give a prompt so this is how the code is now to particularly focus on the web ui part we are going to use gradio gradio as gr uh, on our channel we have got a lot of gradio applications and we have also got a specific dedicated playlist that helps you start from gradio to build sophisticated applications using the interface class which was there available at that time but for this particular tutorial we're going to use the blocks the latest one in the gradio so when you are going to build something using gradio especially if you want to build a machine learning ui user interface using gradio you need to first have a function that takes certain inputs and that gives us certain output so that's important when you're going to build gradio application make sure you have a function the function takes certain inputs and the function finally returns something so if you see our gradio application you can see look at this particular line you can see that we have a function in this case the function's name is prompt paint we have a function the function takes certain inputs and the function finally returns something that is an output so if you see this image, like if you want to design this image as a low fidelity wireframe, you would know that you want a title, you want like a container, and inside that you want to have an input image where somebody can upload an image, input text, input text that you want to replace the prompt. Like one is the input prompt, like to identify what you want in the image. Second is what do you want to replace with? And then finally the output image like this is how you would uh, design a low fidelity wireframe and uh, gradio is as simple as designing a low fidelity wireframe so like going back we have a title uh, i'll get into the details later but just i'm connecting the components we have a title now we have one input where we take the image we have one input where we take the text prompt input prompt source prompt when we have another text input where we take the prompt that helps us in replacing the image and then finally we have an output and we have a button that says generate once you click it image.button.click it's going to call the function with this set of inputs and this set of output and then finally we are launching it and now what is this function so this function is exactly the combination of what you saw previously 
except the model downloading part except um, you know um, like the clip sec downloading part if you see this function it takes three input arguments one is an input image two is a source prompt text three is a result prompt text you take the input image you transform it um, 512 by 512 resize it and you take the input text prompt which is going to say in this i want to identify the shirt so what is the input that you want to change and then you're going to do the segmentation and you finally save the image as a mask that's what you are doing at this stage at this stage uh, almost at this stage you have saved the image as a mask the next thing that you want to do is you want to load these two images one for stable diffusion in painting you need three things you need a prompt you need an input image you need a mask image so we are going to load the input image in it image and to load the mask image mask and then we are also loading the prompt that the user gave like what do they want to replace it with like this one so now with that we are going to generate the image and then finally we are returning the image and that image comes as the output image and then it is displayed here so that is basically the gradio application now how is this gradio application laid out if you see the lay layout of this unlike a typical gradio application using interface this is like i said this is more sophisticated using blocks that also gives us a lot of flexibility so the way we are going to write is this entire thing is going to be a block so gr.blocks as demo we're calling it demo and inside that you can see that we have got a title first so the markdown hash is for h1 heading one and title and within that we are going to create a tab okay so if you see this entire thing this entire thing is inside a tab you can see a tab and within the tab we are going to create a row so this is this entire thing is a row and within the row we have first an input image and then we have a text in text box so image is like gr.image text box is gr.text box and you can give the label what is in the input image you want and then you have got the replace it with the label and then you have got the final image so now finally you have got the button which is generate so now this is how you create a row now if you want multiple rows you can say you want one more row for example you don't want this image here the output image you want it in a different place so you can actually literally convert it to a new row and then you can have it the other thing also you can do it is i have intentionally named it prompt paint basic but what you can also do is you can create a prompt paint advanced version where you can let the user change um let's say strength or something and that is going to be super easy so for example let me stop running this i'm going to copy this okay i have to copy this and i have to enter intendation you know we are in python just don't don't forget the intendation part so the intendation is correct and uh, is it not correct okay unexpected intent okay i have the title as well sorry that's my bad um paste it the intendation has to be like this the width is correct um this is correct okay cool this is correct is this correct is this correct yeah this is correct okay now the error is gone so now i have prompt paint basic i'm going to call it prompt paint advanced and now when i run this if i have not screwed up anything ideally we should see two tabs so the tab one is prompt paint basic the tab two is prompt paint advanced so now what you can do is you can add more attributes here for example right now the function if you see it takes only three attributes one two three but what you can also do is you can make this function um, use other attributes like for example strength is currently fixed strength is an advanced like hyper parameter here so you can make the user select the strength the other one is if you see this image this 100 is something that we call a mask precision what is the precision in which you want the mask to be generated so now we have an advanced tab where you can collect those inputs from the user and then you can also do that and uh, if you want to do that it is going to be quite simple once again so let me let me actually show you how to do that so i'm going to call this predict paint advanced okay 
and I'm going to add two more attributes to it. What are the two attributes? Mask, mask, precision, and the second one is SD strength, stable diffusion strength. Okay. So now mask precision is going to go here. So I need I need to collect the input first, right? I need to collect mask precision equal to gr dot. Uh, should we go with text box? gr dot number slider you can do slider as well like for example i can do slider gr dot slider gr dot slider minimum value i'll start minimum value with something around 70 minimum is 70 i'll go maximum minimum equals 70 maximum equals 255 so I'll go from 70 to 250. I can go 50 as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so I can I can give a label as well. So I can say so, and then I can I can add a label here. What it is it want to be? You want you can add a step value if you want. And uh, and yeah, so I can say this. I can say value equals 70. And I can say label equals, uh, sorry, label equals, what is this? This is mask precision. Okay. And then the next thing is I want another slider. And uh, this slider should be strength, SD strength. And this goes from 0 to 1. And here I can add a step value. I can say, um, I'm going to start with 0.8. I can say 0.1 is my step value and label is stable diffusion strength okay so at this point we have created the two new um why is this an error i was i, I didn't close it that's we are oh i didn't i didn't add the comma here cool okay so at this point we have created these two inputs um in but ironically, I have done it in the first one. I should do it in the second one. So at this point, we have got the mask precision. We have got the SD strength. So now what I can do is um, for this, I can call this this function, which is prompt paint advanced. So inside the advanced tab, I'm going to call prompt paint advanced. Okay. Um, if if um, this generate is clicked inside this, like right right now we have one button. But again, we can change that as well. Like we can, we can have two different buttons. Okay. Let me say this is image button advanced. Okay. And I'm going to keep this normal. Image button, image button. But instead of calling the advanced, I'm going to call this. So at this point, you can see we have two buttons. I mean, most likely we should have two buttons and then we have this. So what do we have to change next? What we have to change is we have to give the inputs in the same format that we have got the function here. So for example, we have input input image prompt result prompt mask precision SD strength. So we need to add those things as well here. So we need to add uh, mask precision and then we need to add SD strength. And now all we have to do is take this mask precision add it here take this sd strength and add it here technically we have done everything and then it should ideally work but you know there is a high chance that usually things break so let me check my luck how is it so the whole objective of this is for me to teach you how easy it is for you to build a gradio application one also how easy it is for you to take an existing gradio application and then make any changes to it. So I'm going to I'm going to open this in a new tab so that it's easier for you to see. So you can get this link and then open it in a new tab. It's it's loading my new tab. Um, so I have I have uh, one um, like these things. Like I can again again play with the layout. Right now I'm going to stick to it. I can open this. I can take Mr. Pattinson and then I can say what do I want to change it with? Um, I want to change the shirt with uh, uh, an orange floral casual holiday shirt. 
so now i have mask precision so if i increase the mask precision let's see what happens i can click generate hopefully i don't get an error first that's the most important thing um, now my mask precision is 135 let's see how effectively it works i can i i like i can see how it works then i can change it so what you can also do is now if you take this code like as a take home assignment if you want to learn more of gradio you can now show the mask image also like we are storing the mask image you can also show that to the user and then see so right now my mask precision is 135 and you can see how the shirt has worked so you can see if if my mask precision goes very down let's see somewhere around 15 or let me keep mask precision somewhere here you can play with the strength and then i can click generate and then see what difference it have makes so basically the advanced tab will help the user identify or play with more hyper parameters the basic tab okay so this is an ns uh, w nsfw image um, nsf not suitable for work image so that's quite strange uh, let me generate something else and then see what happens uh, an orange floral casual holiday shirt um but the idea here is like i said like uh, for you to play with um, the for you to play with the different aspects of uh, gradio and how it easy it is for you to extend so here you can see when you play with the strength uh, the strength is basically the trade off between the prompt and the input image in one case it actually replaces the shirt with the prompt what you give in another case it tries to infuse the prompt content on the shirt while reading the shirt image but you can you can you can understand all these things so yeah that's 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 basically the end of this video so what we have learned in this video is we have first learned how to build a very simple gradio application to do a prompt paint which means text or prompt based in painting using stable diffusion which is building upon the previous tutorial that we had seen um, and in this we also saw how you can take a simple gradio application and you can extend it and the live we took this for first a um, tab which is a basic tab and build the advanced tab and we saw how it works if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this video is helpful to you in uh, learning something new about stable diffusion and also about gradio take care cheers